Hello, I'm the Aspie Hyena. Apologies for relaying a belated Happy New Year, but the happy part would be a lie. And lying is just not within my nature. I'll go into detail in a further video. Back to the New Year part. It's 2021. Uh, woohoo, I guess. I mean, there's no sign of an end of lockdown. Um, we still haven't got flying cars. But at least America dumped Donald Trump and installed Joe Biden. That's just hope he can stay awake and actually govern the country. Thankfully, we'll no longer have to inject ourselves with Dettol to beat the coronavirus. I should have issued a content warning. But let's be serious, okay? Do not inject yourself with Dettol. Unless you want to turn into this. So, let's pretend we never mentioned it and concentrate on causing misery for yours truly. Isn't that what gets me the subscriptions? <laughs> oh, I need to get a life. Being confined to home isn't really all that bad. During the spring and summer months, I could spend days outside sipping cool cola, handwriting my masterpiece novel. Come evening, I retire to my desktop to type up my work. Oh, and I intend to publish it and become a best-selling author. Someday. Should I ever finish the blasted thing? Oh, come on, it's not like I'm George R. R. Martin sat on his backside for over a decade, waiting for the winds of winter to magically appear in print. Yeah, I'm autistic. But I can still do sarcasm. It's just, I have one or two slight little problems. First, the winds of winter have come. For me, that is. In a metaphysical slash meteorological perspective. Second, I have a roommate. Meet Scruff. Fellow hyena, pseudo-intellectual, and the personification of all crimes against fashion. Uh, okay, okay, maybe, maybe that was a little bit too harsh. I mean, I'm hardly one to comment. <laughs> Furthermore, Scruff isn't without his uses. Don't wristle. Right? Just work. Anyone wanting to avoid social interaction, like the plague, no pun intended, hence avoiding stepping out the front door and sending a volunteer to collect supplies whilst you cowardly hide under the bedsheets. Scruff here is just the guinea pig. I mean, a uh, volunteer. Scruff does have his benefits. Not that he claims from the taxpayer, at least to my knowledge. When out and about, up Tesco or Sainsbury's, the unwashed masses stagger aside as the Scruff and the Aspie make their daily shop. If only it were submissive wildebeest fleeing before the apex predator. Alas, you probably guessed the reasons why. Oh, sure. All shoppers have to wear masks. Ideally, they should shield us from the worst of scruff stench. But being in such close proximity renders my mask useless. I'd send him alone, if I trusted him not to contaminate fresh fruit and veg. Or to make easily avoidable mistakes, despite writing out a detailed shopping list that should be accessible to a five-year-old! I said ordinary coke, not diet! You could use a diet. You could use a bath. <coughs> okay, that may have been a tad hypocritical, coming from a scruffy, smelly scoundrel such as yours truly. It wouldn't be so bad if he took a bath once in a while and rinsed his armpits so he wouldn't reek of mouldy tobacco. 
I have a theory that his lack of personal hygiene stems from a childhood trauma, thus triggering an irrational phobia of baths. You should see how he behaves every time I've got to give him one. It's like he's allergic to soap and water. I'd use a whip or a blunt instrument, if not for fear of being charged with animal cruelty. Oh, you think I'm being too harsh on this smelly idiot? What about my mental well-being? What about my personal space? He brings around all his drinking mates from up the pub. And because the booze is shut, they all come round here, rig the place out with cigarettes and throw their cans of used lager all over the place. Oh, and to top it all off, the landlord blames me. ME! I get no privacy in this flat, thanks to him and his mates. They, they come around and treat it like a local boozer. Oh, sorry, I'll repeat myself. I'm always repeating myself because I'm bouncing off the walls going crazy here. You fear for his safety? What about my sanity? What about my dilemma? What am I supposed to do? I apologise. I was just having another brief mental breakdown, a common symptom of these endless lockdowns. Oh, I know it's supposed to be for your, for, for my own protection, for everyone's protection, but... You're not alone. It's difficult for everyone. Sometimes I forget that. There are times when I think about giving up. Or I experience moments of weakness when I take out my frustration on others, like Scruff. Who's doing all his best, really. You know... I broke the kitchen cupboard underneath the kitchen sink the other day. I haven't even told my landlord. Boy, is he going to be pissed when he finds out. You know what? If I could fib and possessed no moral fibre, I'd blame it on Scruff in a heartbeat. I mean, it's not like the landlord is ever going to find out. Uh, spoon! Uh-oh. Who broke the kitchen sink? Goodbye, everybody. Hope I don't get evicted. Ah! Uh, that's all, folks. <laughs>